Sup guys, it's Scofflord here, and I'm back, and I am starting a brand new series called Elsword. This is a game I've been hooked on for the past week or so, and um, yeah, I, I guess that's pretty much it, but this game is great, you can check it out on Steam, it's free now and always I believe, it's, it's pretty fantastic. Okay, so, I already have two characters, as you can see there. That's what I've been doing in my spare time. Alright, let's see here. Um, let's see, Raven. 24 years old. Male. Nassad Hand and Blade. <sighs> I, I want to be Raven, but, you know, like, <sighs> these other guys you're looking pretty cool too I already have one of these guys and I already have this guy level 30 actually so probably not gonna need to be elsewhere or add uh, those are their names so I'm um, I'm thinking I'm gonna go with Raven and um you guys can leave in the comments if you want me to change my character because you know uh I will I'll, I'll keep Raven but I'll just create a new character and get him to where we end up this video so let's go. Let's actually, let me check out these jobs. That looks fantastic. Weapon taker. Overtaker. Whoa, these jobs are sick. Sword taker. These are actually awesome looking. Blade master. Reckless fist. <sighs> Veteran commander. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, let me check out something really quick. Um, So... I'm a sword knight, and that becomes a lord knight. Oh my sweet mother of god, that looks awesome. Alright, what's this? Um, this is a magic knight. Hmm. That becomes a rune slayer. Stealth knight. Infinity sword. Yeah, so that's, that's, why I'm, that's why I'm a sword knight right now. And then I'll become a lord knight. So, boom. Let's see. Um. Probably gonna... Weapons taker. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. And oh my god, it actually changes stats. Alright, um, let's go. Enter character name. Wow, this has been two minutes. Okay, um, whatever. Let's see. My name. My name is gonna be. What, what should my name be? I never, I didn't think of this. I'm so bad at thinking of things, like, good God, um, just looking at things in my room trying to get inspiration. I'm not going to get any inspiration. What am I doing? No, let's name him Pr Prim Tar. I, I guess that's, that, that, that seems good enough. I like it. Prim Tar. Okay. Um, yes, confirm. Alright, and we begin. I love this game so much. We're gonna read his backstory. Because backstories are pretty sick. Let's see. Um, I was once the captain of the Crow Mercenary Knights. I worked hard to protect the kingdom of Velder. And in return, they betrayed me. L look at these visuals. Like, they're pretty, they're pretty sad. I was framed and sentenced to death by someone I had trusted, Alex. He was like a brother to me. My fiance, Sirius, and comrades raided the prison the day before my scheduled execution and busted me out. Finally, Sirius and I were going to get married. But one can only dream for so long. We escaped, but Velder soldiers followed us into the forest, out, into the forest outskirts. We were outnumbered and surrounded in the forest at midnight. Everything I cared and loved was slowly taken away one by one. Alex made sure I was the last to die. They slaughtered my comrades and my love right in front of me, my very own eyes. The only thing left for me was to die. Wow, this is extremely sad. 
At my very last breath, the Nassads found me. The Nassads found me and dragged me off. Whoa! Wait, what? Next thing I know, I woke up in an Assad capsule, and my body was half machine. I was reborn into a test subject for human Assad argument, argument, augmentation. I can't read. Death would have been better for me than this. I wanted to kill them, but the Assad control device overtook my consciousness. However, the program wasn't perfect. I couldn't kill them or myself, so I went around destroying anything I could until I met Elsword. Fighting with Elsword freed me from the control device and my sanity was awakened. I was able to feel more than just pain and anger, and I realized the things I'd done. I wanted to atone for my sins, so I decided to help Elsword find the missing L shards. This is interesting. Hey, a forest with some fresh air. Huh, this is nice now. Reminds me of where Cirrus shakes it off. I shouldn't think about it. If I make amends, maybe I'll get to see her again one day. I have to set things right for all the destruction I've caused. This chaos caused by the L's dis disappearance is a good way to do it. Alright, I must do stuff then. Oh, okay. Let's see here. What's happening? Is this the Ruben place? Where is it hidden? Huh. Oh. This guy, this is Bantus. Piece of cake! Pahahahaha. <laughs> Bantus is a guy. Okay, let's do stuff. Um, what is Bantus doing in Reuben Forest? Hey, newbie, hurry up and come. I'm already ahead of you, bro. Alright, let's see, what do we got? Boom, boom. Dang! This guy's strong. I like this. Raven is extremely strong. Hmm, you look like a newbie. Are you a newcomer adventurer? This village is the closest in Reuben Forest. The L Search Party originates from here. Oh, bother, Bantus has disappeared in Reuben Forest. Could you please help me track him down? Let's go to Haggis, the chief of the village. Alright. Bantus is notorious around here as a bandit boss. If you showed up in Reuben Forest, he must be up to something. Outside the village by Lake Noah, some bandits started to show up. Maybe they are related to Bantus. Perhaps you can find some clues from them. Alright, let's do it then. Maybe gain a lever. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> I already have a lot of XP. It's in the, uh, it's in the corner down here. 83.3% from killing, like, two enemies or something. God. Alright, so. This. Good God, this is insane. Um. Alright, so I'm here. Bandits, bandits. Okay. So, um, let's see. What am I doing now? I'm killing a guy. Where, where are all the bandits? What the heck, man? Catch Tobu and find out bandits. No, oh, okay. Well, that 